Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Piscal App, um, where you can make animated GIFs. So first you're going to go Piscal App, just like this, and it, it, there's no spaces. You're going to go to www.piscalapp.com. Oops, yeah, you're going to go, well, let me redo that. You're going to go to Piscal Free Online Sprite Editor, and then you're going to go to, you could sign in, but I'm not. So let's go to create sprite, and then I'll show you all the tools right now. So first, pre preferences. You know you got the background, layer upsetting, upsetting the title mode grid. You guys can change that. Maximum FPS and color format. You can resize it. You can save it, but you need to be signed in. And then you can export it to download it or to upload it, and then to import to like websites or something. So let's get on. This is your normal size. You're bigger than that. This is bigger, and this is bigger. Uh, this is the vertical mirror pen. So it's the same shape, or yeah, it's the same shape, and at the opposite end, as you can see here. So let's go to, and the next one is paint bucket tool or B. Let's do red, and if you press this, you got a ladybug or some dots with a red background. Paint all pixels the same color as if we go blue, all the pixels that are the same color, so let's say black, all of them will, oh, all of them will turn blue. Uh, oops, wait, that's black. Blue, okay. See, all of them will turn blue. The eraser tool is you could change the size of it also, but let's just erase all of this. Okay, there we go. Then the stroke tool, um, shift to draw. I actually don't know which one does, so you guys will have to figure that one out. Just erase this again. Um, just erase this one. Then the rectangle tool. Let's go like this again. Uh, the rectangle tool. You can make rectangles, as you can see here. A lot of rectangles, or as many rectangles as you want. And then the circle tool, again, circles, circles, circles. Then move, just move this, you can just move this, see? And the FPS, you can change that, but I'll show you guys what that does. Shape selection. Um, I actually don't know which one this does. I think it's all the same line. I'm not sure, but you guys will have to figure that one out too. Rectangle selection is if you go like this, you have control C and control V to paste it. And control C, and then if you go like this, and go control V, never mind. Well, if you go like this, you can backspace it. The same thing with the lasso. This is very satisfying, by the way. Just circle shapes or random shapes that you could do. Pretty cool. If you if you talk to me, pretty cool. Backspace, and then let's get rid of this one too. Backspace, and let's do lighten. So yeah, let's go back to our paint bucket tool. Do this. Let's paint all the background. And if we go to lighten, we can lighten the color, as you can see. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's really cool. And you can do that with red. Look at it. if you go lighten. You can do light reds. It's pretty cool. And then the dithering tool. Oh, let's actually get rid of all this right here. Right now. Um, oh, yeah, this is going to be hard. You know what? Let's just erase all this. So that will be easier since we lighten the whole thing it won't paint bucket all of it so let's just erase all this i think that's a good sound for erasing don't you guys think then the dithering tool anyway the dithering tool for pink let's just do pink you can make checkers that's pretty cool you could do the whole screen 
to make checkers. That's pretty good, right? So now you got the whole screen to make checkers. The color picker, let's say we have a very light green like this. Let's say we have a very light green like this. But we don't know what color it is and we have black right now and it's not in our saved colors but you just go color picker go like this and now we have the color it's pretty cool um let's erase all of this now and i'll and i'll show you guys what you can do so if you go like this let's use the circle tool shouldn't we uh if we, let's go yellow if we go the circle tool let's make it like this let's go to the rectangle go black if we do go like this, we can make sunglasses. Let's let's make sunglasses, guys, shall we? That looks pretty cool. Now let's just do all this. That looks pretty cool. Now if we move this, let's move it like in the middle, the center. The sunglasses aren't perfect, but we'll we'll fix that. Then if we go paint bucket tool, go back to yellow. Do that. Nice. Now let's make a smile on him. Uh, actually, let's get rid of some of these. Oops. Wrong one. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm not. I'm not done yet. So let's just. Let's erase all this as his mouth. Just go like this. Then we we'll go back here and we we'll go black. Let's just make a mouth like this. He has a mouth. Very creepy one if you ask me. That is very creepy. Um, but let's just go like this. That's pretty creepy. Not gonna lie. And let's go also like this. Um, never mind. Let's go like this. And let's go black. Then we go like this. We have a smile. Now let's say let's duplicate one. And let's move this over here. And let's add a color. So let's do green like this to make a background. And then duplicate this then if we move this I guess I can cut that out and then let's go paint bucket tool and then go like this let's move this a bit too and then let's put the background the same and then look see now he's moving it's pretty cool he's moving now let's make this too like that He's moving. That's pretty cool. So, and then if you want to save it, you just go save as pixel, and then you'll download it. And then, yeah, but I'm not signed in right now, so you can see how to do that. And then let's, yeah, this was a tutorial for Pixar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how to use Pitsquad. Hopefully you guys use it too. And hopefully you guys check out my other videos down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.